Hello everyone and welcome to this video on vaccinations. Many aspects of vaccinations that your child should receive are to be discussed in today's video. Let's discuss with the first vaccine, first aspect that is why vaccinate your child. There is no doubt that vaccines protect your child and are one of the best gifts you can give your child. Over the past century, there have been so many advances with vaccines that they have helped us to fight many of the major life-threatening infections. History has shown that a disease like smallpox, which was a major killer of mankind, has been eliminated by vaccines. Polio is on the verge of extinction and many of the major devastating illnesses like diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, measles are well under control. So, why should you vaccinate your child? We must remember that in spite of the successes of the vaccinations and vaccines, serious diseases are still out there. Vaccines are one of the top public health achievements because they have reduced or even eliminated many diseases. Thanks to vaccines, many young parents have never seen the devastating effects that diseases like polio or whooping cough, that is pertussis, can have on a child, family or the community. It's very easy to think that these are diseases of the past, but they still exist. And vaccines are our main tools to fight these deadly, life-threatening illnesses. Vaccines are the safe and proven choice. Before any vaccine is approved for use in children, it is tested extensively at all stages of the vaccine development program. Scientists and medical professionals carefully evaluate all the available information about the vaccine to determine its safety and effectiveness, how useful it's going to be for your child. As new information and science and data becomes available, vaccine recommendations are often updated. Although your child may experience some discomfort or tenderness at the injection site, this is very minor compared to the serious complications that can result from the diseases that these vaccines prevent. We must also remember that many of these illnesses occur very early in life, so children need early protection. So the immunization schedule is designed in such a way that the babies are protected as early as possible and as effectively as possible. Babies less than one year are the most susceptible to these deadly infections and need to be protected early. Vaccination protects not only the vaccinated child, but also the entire family, friends and the community. Getting your child vaccinated helps protect others in your community, like your neighbor who has cancer and cannot receive many of the live vaccines or the newborn baby who is too young to be fully immunized. When everyone in a community who can get the vaccine does get vaccinated, it forms a ring of protection and prevents the spread of the disease and can slow down or stop any outbreak that is in the offing. Choosing to protect your child with vaccines is a choice to protect your family, friends and neighbors too. Vaccines also mean fewer missed work days and school days. If your child gets a vaccine preventable disease, they may have to miss school or daycare for many days or weeks. You have to take time from your work and this can burden your family financially. Many vaccine preventable diseases can also cause lasting disabilities that result in expensive medical bills and long-term care. So, to conclude, protecting your child's health is very important to you. Giving your baby all the recommended vaccines at the appropriate ages is the best way to protect him or her from serious childhood diseases. So, choose immunizations. It's the powerful defense that's safe, proven and effective. 